So my name is Nigel Chmarcy. I'm the co-founder of the manga brand Maya Mada. So if we go to the next slide, you'll see where we have created uh, our own manga universe. And this is a collection or some of the stories that I've written and self-published. So I say the world's first manga network because uh, in within our universe, it's framed as a television network. So each of those stories that you see is a different show within the network. So it's very meta. Um, there's a whole story of why that is. We definitely don't have time to cover that, but uh, that's the framing that we've got for that. So what I'm here to talk to people about is the kind of roles that uh, are available. So like I said, I think within this group that we have watching, you might hopefully find some things that you're interested in, some things that you're probably already doing. So uh, we'll talk about the first one, which is something very relevant uh, to me and what I do, uh, writer. So I write uh, the stories within brand. And this kind of uh, means bringing together uh, stories, world building, developing characters, uh, and bringing that together in a hopefully seamless uh, way that represents uh, our brand and our characters. So our brand is an all ages brand. So when you're writing your stories and something that I've found is to be considerate of the audience you're writing for. So being all ages um, means like it has to be sort of safe, suitable for children, but also for readers of any age. So that's something uh, to keep in mind as you develop your writing skills. So if we go to the next slide, uh, this is one that I found uh, the hard way, <laughs> is that you can write stories, uh, but you actually then need someone to uh, look over those stories. And that is a story editor. So as I put together uh, the world, like I mentioned, the characters, uh, I'm essentially requiring someone to be outside of my, my brain as I put these stories together. Because when it comes out, it's perfect. It's the best story uh, ever. What you quickly find is that um, not everyone thinks exactly the same way as you. So a story editor is someone who not necessarily is coming up with the ideas, but is helping develop those ideas from the very beginning uh, all the way to production. In our case, that means developing uh, the artwork. And then once the artwork is on paper, before we send it to the, uh, to the printer, and that crucial step where you commit to the story is making sure that everything hangs together, um, sort of visually, story-wise, and basic grammar uh, and spelling. So if we go to the next slide, you will see the artwork, so I touched on the artwork. So we're, we're a small team, so we have uh, an artist. Drawing is the one thing uh, I don't do within the brand and for good reason, because no one will buy what I'm drawing. So we have an illustrator and uh, she can draw, as hopefully you can see through this image. And we're kind of fortunate in terms of the person that we have in that I've listed a number of roles there um, and many of them she covers. So uh, just to quickly run through those, we have someone uh, who sort of does the initial ske sketches. Uh, so that would be like a penciler. So if you're viewing, uh, reading a comic, uh, one of your favorite comics or manga titles, someone would have had to design and draw out the basic uh, panels where everything goes. Then once, um, in our case, once we're happy with a, uh, a page, happy with how it hangs together with the story, it's then inked. So that's going over those initial uh, pencil sketches and uh, yeah, sort of committing them to page, making sure all the lines are clear and well read. Uh, we work in black and white, but you might find uh, in some cases you have a colorist and that's someone who adds the color to that inked uh, image. So these are all separate uh, roles or can be separate roles. We've uh, managed to get someone who does that and the lettering, so dialogue uh, and everything like that. One of the things that, um, yeah, so we've all managed to get someone in, in one person who does <laughs> covers those roles. Uh, one thing that we've added recently is a concept artist where at the beginning of the process, before we get to this point where you see things in draft, in sketch pages, and certainly before you get to the final kind of artwork is exploring ideas. And I think this was covered or touched on in one of the earlier uh, uh, talks where that's a key role in many fields across the uh, media. So that's something, and it's idea of transferable skills I'll come back to in a moment. So what I wanted to get across with all that, before I talk about video games, is that it's a team effort. And I think for the people kind of watching this is just to understand, like I said at the beginning, is that you might have a skill that is very valuable to a team. 
So I definitely can't do everything myself and it requires multiple people. So I think just having the understanding that you don't, you'll rarely you'll, you'll be required to do everything yourself. It's about what can you contribute? What value can you add to a team effort uh, to complete a project in our case, comics uh, or manga? Uh, all right, let's talk video games. So uh, as part of our brand, uh, as well as developing this manga universe, we also have a video game event called GamePad. And the idea for GamePad is to uh, develop and uh, put out this event suitable for all ages that promotes inclusion and diversity. So we wanna show, uh, as you can see from the images, that different people play games. They look differently, uh, they come from different um, places, they have different experiences, and we wanna celebrate that, uh, as well as provide a platform for young and aspiring uh, game professionals to get a grounding and some experience uh, in working relate, uh, related to games. Uh, so what I'm gonna just say up front is there's no way I'm gonna cover <laughs> all the events or even list them on a, uh, on a PowerPoint slide. So what I will recommend to people is to visit this website intogames.org if you don't already know about it. They've got a great search engine where you can search for different games and it kind of lets you know the path towards those uh, games roles. So I will leave that with you. That's very valuable, but I'll highlight some of the, the roles that I wanted to um, point out while I'm speaking here. So we can go to the next slide. And one of the obvious ones is the gameplay programmer. So um, hopefully there are a few people that play games uh, within the audience, but you'll understand that as you play games, uh, someone or a team of people most likely would have to program the game mechanics and logic that hang together within the context of the video game you're playing. So um, yeah, that's a, an important role. Something I personally understand just because before making comics, I was a software engineer. So I wanted to start with that and represent that. Uh, and then this is something that is also very relevant to me now. So I talked about this idea of transferable skills and I write comics and what that does is get you a grounding in uh, uh, the, I was going to say art, science, wizardry of uh, writing sort of narrative design. And that is transferable to video games. It's transferable to animation. So in video games, it's something that is becoming more and more prominent in the games we play. So we are talking about uh, plot, environment, dialogue, all these elements that contribute to the story that is told when you're playing the game. So that's something to keep in mind in terms of a, a role. Uh, this is often, when I speak to people within games, it's often brought up as a good entry point uh, into video games. Not the only entry point, but a good one, which is quality uh, assurance tester, or it might be called different things depending on where you are. But the idea is that games is a very complex thing to make, and that means uh, you're going to get some bugs as anything um, software engineering, uh, anything technology wise, to be honest, you're going to get some bugs. So the idea is to have a bug free launch or as as bug free as you can get with video games. So this is a good um, grounding to get in uh, and to get a good understanding of the game making process. And like I say, contribute value in terms of ensuring that you can help spot and eliminate bugs before they go out um, to uh, to the wide world. And uh, the next few are a couple like relatively newer uh, things. I think if anyone's heard of uh, Twitch, so just because of the, uh, the world that was 2020, our gamepad event uh, was a physical event up until 2020, like everything else it has now become an online or at least has an online component. Uh, so this is Tazzy, the host of our gamepad online event. So uh, she does a number of things that I uh, am not necessarily good at, like uh, hosting <laughs> a gaming event. So what that means is being a um, sort of friendly, presentable uh, person who is knowledgeable about the games that are being played, but also able to communicate with the community and the audience that uh, we've got. So, uh, and then either that can be a general thing in terms of hosting an event or in terms of uh, casting. So shout casting is like commentary uh, over a particular game. So at our Gamepad Online event, we have people playing different games. So it's someone who uh, knows a bit about the game and can provide commentary so that people watching uh, can kind of get that play by play as to what's happening. And uh, yeah, Tazzy does many things, uh, she's multi-talented. So also uh, what she does outside of Mahamada is create her own content. So she's currently working for Game and uh, as a content creator, 
and uh, creates content across their platforms, across her platforms, uh, and helps uh, me do what we do through Gamepad. So this is a combination of being able to engage and uh, community building. So it's about bringing people together who are passionate about this particular area, whether it's a specific game, specific platform, or a specific event, or, or anything else. Um, being able to identify what a community needs, and then being able to build content that speaks to that. So that's a whistle stop tour uh, through some of the things that um, kind of we do through My Matter. Hopefully that's given you some kind of uh, insight 